Yo, what is going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're going to be um, basically helping you guys push and push to rank 35, but just generally just pushing tips in general and like how to get better teammates, how to use the best comps for every map, how to use the matchmaking to your advantage, how to find teammates if you have no teammates and other stuff like this. So definitely make sure to stick around to the end of the video so you don't miss anything. But before we get into it, um, we actually have a chance to um, get a tribe team house for the uk so like me spend semantic would be um, in, a t in a team house which would be really really epic needs to hit the tweet needs to hit 10,000 retweets so if you're watching make sure to go and retweet it it'd be super epic if we could do that every retweet helps so definitely make sure to go and check that out in the top of the description that'd be so epic if we could um hit that but yeah let's get into the video okay so starting off then we're gonna be talking a little bit about matchmaking because matchmaking is one of the most important things normally when you're pushing high you're gonna spend a to 90% of your time actually looking at a spinning star in the middle of your screen instead of actually playing the game and this is known as matchmaking it takes up most of your time whilst pushing especially really really high so I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on like how to make it so you can get against easier opponents and also how you can um, make this matchmaking a little bit quicker okay so starting off with where you should be pushing your brawlers and so you should definitely be pushing your brawlers in 3v3 modes um, rather than showdown because it's going to be a lot easier there's a ton more people playing 3v3 which means the matchmaking will be quicker also it's just more consistent in high level showdown you're going to get a lot of teaming so it's very very difficult to push so i definitely recommend playing in 3v3 the mode for the quickest matchmaking um, when you get hiring trophies is going to be brawl ball just because there's the most amount of people playing there it's going to be gem grab and then i'm not sure about the other two modes but brawl ball is going to have the quickest matchmaking but also it's going to have the best players playing so that's something you have to consider that if there's a lot of good players playing brawl ball and you can't like seem to push then you might want to move on to gem grab or onto another mode but yeah brawl ball has normally all the top players playing because there's the quickest matchmaking and obviously they want to push quicker so they're going to be trying to get um this quicker matchmaking to push um trophies a little bit easier so they actually recently changed how matchmaking works so you can now only face the same player once every 24 hours even if they have two different teammates say i'm playing with spen and semantic and we face someone it means that i can't face that same person even if i have a completely different team um, i'm not sure if this works in showdown i'm guessing it does work in showdown as well but it basically means two things really that matchmaking is going to be a lot longer but also that it's going to be easier because once you face a team you're not going to face them again so say if you're playing like a full team of sweats a full team of pro players that you don't want to be playing ladder it means that you only going to face them once every 24 hours which is going to help you being able to push and you can also use this to your advantage but basically if you have a say a really high brewer like a 1.2k surgery trying to get to rank 35 you say you've got a 1k gale that you don't mind as much losing about um you can go onto the mode and then you can play your gale say and get rid of all the good teams basically so that when you play your surge it's going to be um a lower matchmaking and just against easier opponents so you have a better chance of winning and then yeah you can uh, kind of tilt less and it's going to be a lot easier to push so the next thing i wanted to talk about is how to find better players to play with because obviously i realized that i'm very fortunate and have um the greatest selection of players to play with at any time so yeah you guys obviously are going to struggle finding players so i'm going to help you out there so when i start playing the game i basically just joined as many clubs as i can so say you get i know a thousand trophies keep joining the next best club you can join on your local leaderboards and you're just going to keep finding better players to join with or play with and yeah basically um what i like to do as well I was join discord servers um like you can join mine it's discord.gg slash tom the link will be down below and yeah keep joining discord servers making friends and gonna you know, find better teammates and people to play with in general the other thing with clubs is that once you get in a club and your room lead if someone else in the club is room lead as well it means that you won't face them on ladder so you can definitely use this to your advantage so if you're in eu i'd recommend joining a few good men or code magic if you can for the best matchmaking because yeah you're not going to face anyone from that club that's room lead as well and also so if you're NA, then probably join like Tempo Storm or just look on the, the club leaderboards to try and join the best club that you can. Get the best matchmaking. Yeah, you're going to be facing um, slightly weaker opponents. So you're not going to face anyone in your club, which is going to make it a little easier to push sometimes. Okay, so another thing I always get asked is 
um, like what is the best comps and how do you know what to use for every um, map but there's this very good website and app called Brawl Stats which you can um, download for free and use and this is not a sponsor or anything like this is just a very good website to help you guys find the best comps so as you can see on the screen here all I have to do is go go to events and then click on um, whatever event you want so say I wanted a comp for like bouncing down or something so you just click here you go to the higher trophy range of 600 plus and you're gonna have to see the best brewers to play um, on the map so I know those five brewers there if you made a comp with any of well with any three combination of those brewers that's gonna be a really really strong comp and it's definitely gonna be tough to face um, and as you can see it even shows you the comps with the highest win rate you can see 84% win rate with that comp which is kind of insane um, and yeah I can see that comp would be very very tough to beat so you can do this for any event any mode and it's gonna tell you the best comps to use which is really really helpful and you can see that the pick rates for all those comps are below 1% even though look how high the win percentage is on those comps so definitely do this to try and find the best comps for the maps because yeah I can't really tell you the best comp for every map but this is a really really good website and app to help you guys find the best comps with the with like really really good win rates to help you guys win and just push in general so I know a lot of people will be thinking like how long does it actually take to get a rank 35 and the answer to this it really depends on the matchmaking but if you're playing Brawl Ball which is the quickest mode the matchmaking is going to be quite long as soon as you get above 1k no normally around five to eight minutes which is a decent um, amount of time to be stuck in the matchmaking but yeah this could um, be somewhere around 12 hours if you only getting one or two losses say from like 1000 to rank 35 that's 12 hours that's a decent amount of time to um, have to push but yeah you can definitely reduce this by using some of the tips I use and if you can beat everyone then yeah you don't need to use the matchmaking in your club but after a while it does get really easy because once you play out the good teams you're just facing um, weaker opponents and it should be a lot easier um, after you've played say for the first couple hours in the day because you've faced most of the good teams and then you're going to be facing like the weaker opponents later on in the day okay so now moving on to tips to just improving in general so obviously I recommend playing ladder um, as much you can like as soon as you start playing the game don't focus on scrims just play ladder play as much as you can try and just play the game for as long as you can to improve and then um, when you start wanting to, seem to like really really improve and you start losing some games maybe watch the games back see what you did wrong what your teammates did wrong and like how you could improve this for next time how your enemies play better than you and yeah whenever I see like someone outplay me um, or just kill me and yeah I didn't expect it like a lot of the time now um, search and just dash for a wall and like I forget this but um, if someone does that to me now I do it to other people because I learned but I learned that from getting killed myself I didn't just do it myself I got learned from getting killed by like getting dashed through a wall say from a surge gadget and now I use this on other people people because people just don't expect it it's a new mechanic and yeah people don't expect you can just dash through a wall so definitely look at the way that other players um, outplay you and do this to other players and it'll definitely help you improve and finally then so um, you should be using the right star power for every brawler if you don't know what star power to use then make sure to check out um, my re one of my recent videos I did a video on what star power should use for every single brawler in the game so definitely check that out and another thing is matchups matchups are really really important so one of the best comps right now is for example like Surge, Gale, and Mr. P. So Mr. P is going to be good against the weaker brawlers like Spike, whereas um, Surge and Gale are going to be good against the tankier brawlers like say your Franks and your Bulls. So make sure you have the right matchups because this is really, really going to help you out and it's definitely worth say like swapping sides at the start to get a better matchup, especially with Surge because his um, super is so important. You really want Surge to be against the tanks and just a brawler that he can get his super off easily because as soon as he gets his super, he's going to be a lot better. So make sure you're focusing um, on getting Surge's super if you're using Surge because Surge is one of the best brewers now especially when you can get that super very quickly. Okay guys that's gonna be it for the video hope you guys enjoyed um, as I said make sure to check out that tweet and go and retweet it because if you're not gonna do it for us to help us get a team us and do it to prove Pat wrong because he thinks that we won't get 10k retweets on um, the tweet so definitely go and help out because if everyone watching right now went and retweeted it we could probably get it which would be so epic um, so yeah definitely go and do that and obviously I hope you guys enjoyed the video it's pretty difficult to make a video like this um, to help you guys but yeah I tried to include as many things as possible like how to find better teammates how to improve your matchmaking and also how to find the best comps for every map and I'll leave a link to Bruce stats down below because it's a really good website app which will really help you guys um, get the best comps for every map but apart from that I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe but apart from that thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time peace